Would you rather have true love or win the lottery? Hello everybody, it's your favorite galactic human Renan Esteem. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to show some love. They say money is the root of all evil, but money attracts women, so what does that really say? When I heard that as a kid, I imagined money was some type of gangster. Standing on the street corner, selling work, refusing to pay child support as a deadbeat dad. Benjamin Franklin with gold teeth, driving around in a box Chevy talking about, where they at though, bruh, bruh? I heard more about money than love growing up. They told me it ain't tricking if you got it. So if I had to choose, I'm picking money. Now I know money don't buy happiness, but it sure as hell can buy the illusion. Hell, I knew this foreign kid who lived in his own house at 21. His family had made a fortune from wherever the hell they came from and sent him here. Under normal circumstances, he might have been a lonely dude. He wasn't witty, he was chubby, and arrogant as a soccer mom at customer service. But a beautiful Brazilian model saw the man he was inside and fell in love with the $50,000 checks he was getting every month. See, as long as he had that money, he made the rules. His homeboys would never in their poor life check him. He would look deep into their soul and say, that damn dog dropping brownies again, somebody go clean that up. And his boys would be like, boy, you so crazy. <laughs> I got you this time, but don't you get used to it, all right? That poor life is not for me. I think I could buy some quality love if I had a whole bunch of cash. You trying to tell me you wouldn't pretend to love somebody if they were flying you all over the damn world? You a damn lie. I pretended to like somebody for a McMuffin. I used to stare into her thirsty eyes knowing damn well I don't want no pressure. Real talk, one time she caught me lacking at a house party. She told me she wanted to dance. She started throwing it back at me, but she had one bad leg, so her rhythm was off. I could tell she was going extra hard because she was breathing heavier than usual. And the sweat beads on her forehead had kids who migrated to her armpits. She would look back every few minutes with the, I know you liking this, look on her face. She went to whispering in my ear about taking me home, sprinkling McMuffins on her body. Her little friend was watching and recording us on some How I Met Your Mother type stuff. She was rubbing and grabbing on everything she could. And the moment her friend stepped out for a minute, she got even worse. I told her, baby, I gotta use the bathroom. That girl said, I'm coming with you. I was like, chill on oh, my mama, I'm coming right back. I had to pry her manly grip off me to get into the bathroom. The second I had the door locked, I started calling my homeboy to come get me. This man picked up and the first thing out of his mouth was, why are you hiding in the bathroom? Your future baby mama out here waiting for you. Bruh, stop playing games, come get me. Hell nah, you gonna do right by that girl. Boy, I swear on everything when I get out, I'm beating your Bruh, calm down. I just handed her some protection. Y'all kids have fun. This man had the nerve to laugh and hang up in my face. I was so scared I dropped to my knees to pray, but I looked up and saw a beam of light coming from a window. I jumped up so quick, climbed the counter, cracked that window open and allowed my body to drop outside. I was so happy I started laughing while I laid on the ground until I heard a voice say, Are you okay? I looked up and I'd be damned. Her homegirl was standing there with a drink in her hand. I thought she was going to snitch, but she said, let me take you home. But never mentioned this to my homegirl. And I'm going to tell y'all this right now. She was definitely the better option. Because she worked at Foot Locker and hooked the brother up. Now if Biscuit Girl had Oprah money, do you think I'd run? Hell no. Nah. I'd knock her up and secure the bag. We'd have a bunch of bad leg babies. Because money changes everything in a relationship. But now I'm curious. If you had a choice between true love or winning the lottery, which one would you pick? Tell me in the comment section. I want to hear it. But when it comes to me, it's always MOE. Thank you to all my subscribers who support me. If you enjoyed today's video, click like and uh, watch another video. Till next time.